Well, hello there, and I just want to say good morning. Uh, this is the week of July 4th through July 10th that I will be doing a plan with me. I'm also going to be trying something a little bit different um, as far as goal setting. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing that, stick around. My name is Stephanie, by the way. I always forget to say that. And um, since it is 4th of July for this week, I'm going to be using, this is my Pentel brush sign pen in, I think it's just blue. And also going to be using, yeah, I believe it's just the blue color. And I'm also going to be using my Zebra Mild Liner in red. I was thinking of doing um, highlighting with blue and doing my my days of the week in red letters, but I decided to change it around because I th think that's what I guess I would typically do is have a blue background. And I don't typically have a red background. So I'm also needing to write my time and with that I use my Zig Clean Color Dot Marker in black. Um, so yeah, I will be back. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of that real quick. Since I do it all the time in previous videos, I'm either gonna just fast forward or um, cut to, to the next thing that I'm gonna be doing. All right, I'm gonna see if I can multitask by talking and um, doing my my cursive here so I'm a little bit late on this plan with me um, had a bit of a busy weekend oh, the camera keeps blurring out so sorry about that <laughs> um, actually I think what I'll do sorry is take this guy out I might be just too close to the camera so maybe if we give it a little bit distance might be a little bit better Ugh, it's still happening. Oh well. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm a little bit late with my typical weekly plan with me schedule. I usually try to at least have it uploaded by um, Tuesday. Not so good at multitasking, huh? Um, so yeah, I try to have it uploaded by Tuesday. This blue almost looks like a violet more so than than a true blue. Um, but with 4th of July and spending a good chunk of my day with my in-laws, and then in the evening, my dog was so traumatized. We had people setting off fireworks literally like all around us. Luckily, like none in our neighborhood like in the houses in our neighborhood uh, in the houses around us in our neighborhood but so there was a little bit of a distance um, since it was in the adjoining neighborhood but yeah my dog was having a terrible time she was just would not come out of the closet we took her for a walk we were hoping to you know take her for a walk in the evening before people started setting off fireworks, well, that was a bad idea because as soon as we took like three steps outside the garage, the um, fireworks, like people started setting off fireworks around us and we're like, oh my God. So we're like, okay, well, let's just kind of keep it short. And we ran into some of our neighbors and talked to them for a couple of minutes um, and she, she was fine with having like extra people around her. I think it might have made her feel safe or she was just maybe more so paralyzed than anything. Um, but when we started walking down the street, um, one of the houses, it literally sounded like a grenade launcher. And I've heard those. <laughs> um, not to the full extent of a grenade launcher, but like it sounded like some, it, like a firework was being launched. And it was terrifying. It was scaring the crap out of me. Um, I, yeah, it was, it was scaring me. And it had gone off twice while we were like near that house. So it, yeah, I think it was a terrible idea, sadly, to take Lily out for a walk 
at that time. So yeah, when we got back home, she would not come out of the closet. Luckily, uh, we had fed her before we started walking. We went on our walk because otherwise she would not have eaten. She, I was trying to give her some CBD and she wouldn't take it. It wasn't until sometime in the middle of the night she woke me up with her munching on, on the CBD treat that I had left for her, just like on the ground. <laughs> so she had a little midnight snack, um, but at the same time, it's like oh, this poor dog. So luckily she doesn't seem to have any stomach issues, at least not yet. Um, because that's typically what would happen is she'll get uh, tummy issues where she'll bleed with her poops and sometimes she'll throw up well this morning so yesterday was fine but this morning she did she did poop or I'm sorry she did we were just walking and she like had a little bit of a puke but it was like small and very like incognito about it we were just like walking and she puked and then we kept on walking like it was just I don't even know like there's no pause almost <laughs> um, anyway um, this is going to be my meal planning for the week I don't know why I did that I feel yeah talking and planning is not as easy as it looks at the same time I should say and I almost skipped Friday. So Monday, we was just kind of like a scrounge day because we went to my in-laws and they had hot dogs. So they sent us home with hot dogs and potato salad. Um, last night was salad night. Breakfast today. Uh, I think tomorrow is pasta. I can't remember what Friday is. Let me see if I can access my notes. Oh, Friday is burger night. We love the impossible burgers. They're really quite tasty. I think I'm actually liking them better than a real burger, but I think it depends also on the real burger. So like in and out that one's pretty dang good okay so um so this is something i've started doing the last few weeks where it's like i write my meals and then i track how good we did as you can see last week besides our free day I believe yeah we pretty much only got three we never get as far planning for Sunday, but I want to get better by that. I want to get better at doing that. So the other thing, the new thing that I'm trying to incorporate is, um, I guess like a habit tracker or goal tracking. I mentioned before, like I have too much tea. We have too many candles that we kind of need to go through. So I want to make sure like I, I use it up and I make like a conscious effort of using it so if I write it down like did pretty good and I'm pretty sure um, yesterday see this is the the thing I'm not a fan of with um, this particular Hobonichi because it is smaller than an a6 if I feel like if it were an a6 I would have room for Sunday here but what are you going to do? Um, yeah. So yeah, that's going to be with candle and tea. And then, um, where's my little sticky, not sticky note. I've got food. And then I want to stay on top of journaling and also crafting. So instead of just like sitting there and watching TV, like I actually want to do things. And I don't know if that sounds like super American where it's like, must be doing things all the time, you know what I mean? But it's like, I have all these like crafty things, like literal like physical things, but I'm not doing anything with them. And that's really either a waste of space and a waste of resources and money. So I want to put that to good use. 
And I think, again, by making, by writing it down and having it be on the forefront, then I'm also making a conscious effort to, to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some of those little boxes like I did last week with um, the, the tea and the candle. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my little like habit goal tracker kind of thing to at least, you know, twice a day drink some tea, twice a day burn a candle, um, journal once a day, and then craft once a day. So, so far actually with Monday, I did not make any tea. I don't believe we burned any candles. I didn't do journaling and I definitely didn't do crafting. I did post on Poshmark um, since Lily was so frightened. We didn't want to have any like crazy sounds coming from the television. So I actually just turned on Animal Crossing and let the music play uh, since it's pretty chill music, you know? Um, and while that was happening, I decided to just post some stuff on Poshmark um, and kind of you know, reduce my shoe collection because it's it's excessive, let's be honest. Um, so that is what we have for for this week. I also went ahead and I um, marked the meals so far that, you know, that we did. And do I have room for one more? Maybe. Um, I'm also trying to eat a little bit healthier. Not that we eat super unhealthy anyway, um, but, you know, I just, I know it could potentially impact my fertility in a positive way, so I want to do what I can to, to control that. Um, let's see, let me grab my binder here, not my binder, my Kokio Jibuntecho for this week. Skip the week. Oh yeah, this week is pretty darn slow with meetings and I love it. Um, just because it's, I don't know, she... The program manager said that this week would be a chill week, so um, we're not really going to be having meetings, but next week we are. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Okay. So that's one of the new things that I want to start doing also is, um, and I think I mentioned it in a previous video, but basically what I was doing is time blocking, so the bigger blocks of time were times that I was supposed to be working and then the smaller blocks of time were breaks so it's basically like up to me what I want to do and then things written in red were things I should not be doing when I <laughs> you know should be doing other things um, and then I was also not writing meeting um, like I wasn't, so I also wasn't writing these in advance, even though I knew like they are in my, my June Techo, but, um, I wasn't writing it here. I was writing them as they happened. So I believe what I'm going to do going forward is actually write them in advance. So kind of like here with my standups, but we always have standups anyway, but, um, yeah, I basically would like to keep trying with time blocking but I haven't been so good I don't know yeah I'm kind of a bit at a loss as far as like how to keep track of my productivity and also you know be accountable for my time so that's been a little bit of a struggle so let's go ahead and get decorating so one of the things I realized I haven't really been using are my little deco sticker sheets um, that I just want to go ahead and use. So let's use this freebie. I was super sleepy last week. I don't know what happened. It looks like I got a cut here, like a paper cut almost, but I'm not entirely sure what happened. Um, 
I know I had a nap. <laughs> I was tired. Um, you know what? I'm going to put this little shopping sticker also from Paper Bits Co. Uh, right here. That's for the previous week where we did. It was just a wee bit of shopping. Um, I did do a lot of journaling. Also from Paper Bits Co. All right, I'll leave those. Oh man, I've had such a craving for cereal. So this little cereal day is perfect. This is from Nightingale Paper Co. Um, we went to Costco. We always go to Costco, so I don't even remember when. But I saw that they had cereal that was really, really inexpensive. Honey Bunches of Oats was really, really inexpensive. And I thought, you know what? I can eat that. <laughs> but that was before my whole, I need to, you know, be making a conscious effort as to what I put in my body, at least for this month, even though I know it's obviously a cumulative effect and I need to do it for longer. But, um, yeah seeing rainbows so this one is I believe also from Nightingale Paper Co. I'm just gonna use this rainbow oh that's cute when did we get rain oh Friday Friday we got finally a ton of rain So as I'm looking through stickers, I um, wanted to say that this morning, even though we're summer and these are like the summer sticker pack from uh, Nightingale Paper Co., very much like summer vibes, this morning I am getting like major fall vibes. I don't know if it's like that where you are, but it's it was like 70 some degrees. Right now it's only 84, so it was like 73 degrees this morning, and um, we went for a walk, and with the walk, it was just like, really, it felt like the air had a little bit of a chill, the sun was pretty nice and warm, it was, I don't, yeah, it just, and even like, the sounds that, um, you typically, I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one that's like this, but I feel like when I hear like certain way, the, oh my gosh. So like, I feel like certain seasons have certain sounds. Obviously, like if you have cicadas, then you're going to get like very much summer vibes. At least I do. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I feel like seasons have sounds associated with them and for some reason I was getting like early fall sounds as well so this morning and then I went to go um, to Walmart to pick up some groceries what's today Wednesday yeah I went this morning to get groceries and driving with the windows down again it just felt so much like fall like I can't even get over how beautiful it feels and I love it but we're still in the thick of summer so I don't know I think it's just kind of like a little bit of an off day in that um yeah it's just a bit of an off day <laughs> I think I want to use one of these I really love these self growth planner planter. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with this one. These are kind of big from Coffee Monsters Co. Um, I'm just gonna put that right there. Oh, there's a little bit of overlap. Whoops. All right, I'm gonna use one of these sushi stickers. Um, Saturday night we went to one of my favorite sushi places 
in town and I got a lot of sushi. <laughs> um, it's my favorite place to go for this kind of sushi or even without the rice where it's just, I think, sashimi and this is Nijiri. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correct. Um, also, why am I having so much trouble finding the marker that I want? But anyway, so we went to sushi, had a hard time finding my marker there. And um, yeah, I ended up getting a significant amount. Okay, so it's not cyan. I think it might be this color. Um, and then Saturday night was pretty fun. We had a few drinks. We played Monopoly on the Switch and we made it into like a bit of a drinking game. So it's like if you pulled a bad card where you owed somebody money um, or if you landed on go to jail, which I landed a lot on go to jail. I was getting legit mad and then my husband at one point, he's like, maybe we should stop playing. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, well, you haven't said anything for about five minutes and that's concerning because <laughs> I was genuinely getting angry at the game. Um, but that's because I am a bit of a gamer. I guess I'm a bit competitive um, and I just was getting like the worst rolls. So I didn't want to, I just, I was trying to, I was quiet because I was trying to like readjust myself, you know, and not get so cranky. So I just needed a moment to be like, okay, let's recenter and get over it because it's just a game. Like, There's no need for me to be so cranky about it. I'm going to use one of these stickers from Coffee Monsters Co because I've been pretty good about drinking tea. Um, this, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but this has been working pretty well, making myself little goals. I'm gonna get one of these little gray switches uh, that's from Paper Bits Co. Let me get my tweezers because it's just so much easier. I also took off my sweater because I got hot. I'm going to use one of these upload stickers from Coffee Monsters Co. And then on Sunday, I was hanging out with my friend and her two little ones and her husband and afterward we went to the children's museum which was better than I was expecting it was actually kind of a lot of fun um even for adults like obviously there's a lot of it is geared toward kids of, of different age groups um but nonetheless it, we had a good time with some of the things that I think we're more for adults to just kind of play with too. Um, but yeah, that children's museum was pretty fun. I'm gonna use one of these little journal stickers from Paper Bits Co. Because while we were watching Umbrella Academy, I was also doing some journaling. By the way, I did enjoy this season of Umbrella Academy. Um, I think the previous one, not so much. Or, I mean, I liked it. I definitely liked the first season. But it started getting kind of funky with, like, time travel and things like that. And that's kind of where I get lost because then I have, like, a thousand questions. And they can't get answered either because of you know, lack of time for storytelling, but also, you know, like, you just can't have all the questions answered. So I don't know, and then I tend to go in circles, and then I get mad, um, not mad, but you know, I'm just like, ugh, like, just, just doesn't make sense. Um, so, yeah, this season of Umbrella Academy was, was pretty good. 
nonetheless. I'm gonna use some of these from uh, my Sticky Club stickers. Just kind of randomly placed since I don't have a lot going on in a good chunk of, of the planner. So it's already July 6th. I hope you all had a good 4th of July if you celebrate that. Ours was really chill, typically more chill than we have in the previous years where we've either gone to a pool party, barbecue or something, but we just kind of hung out with family and um, with my husband's family. And it was nice. It was actually a smaller group than typical. And so it was his parents and his grandpa and his grandpa's wife. And um, even she told me that, she's like, I like this smaller group. I can hear better. It's like, yeah, I know exactly how you feel. I mean, not exactly how she feels because she does have a hearing aid, but I, I can definitely relate to the fact that it's hard to keep track of conversations when there's other conversations going on around you or um, when you're trying to focus on one thing, but there's other things that are grabbing your focus. So, you know, those things can be a challenge for sure. And I imagine even more so for somebody who has a little bit of hearing challenges. Um, I'm gonna use one of these stickers. I genuinely don't remember. They feel like paper, yeah, they feel like washi almost. Um, I think these might be, that's not gonna stick out. Midori stickers or Swatelier. I got them from Jet Pens, so you could definitely find them there. I was gonna use this one, but it's, it's not gonna stand out all that much, so I need something a little bit more contrasting and potentially to take up some space. So let's go ahead and use this yellow one. Wow, they're super thin. They have some gold foiling. I don't know if that's come through on, on the camera, but yeah, there's some very pretty gold foiling on there. And my meeting starts in 15 minutes, so I think I might call it a day here. pretty satisfied with that. All right. Don't have much going on here, but that's okay. I have a few blank spaces, but again, that's really, it's okay. I've used plenty of stickers, so that's good. Um, so anyway, this is my spread. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep up with the time blocking, but if I do, then I'll let you know in the next video um, and at least see how these like goal trackers went. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.